What up, Chris? MP, glad you made it. Ready to run some three and threes? Let's get it.
Good shot, Spider! Check it! Who's watching him? Yo, yo, yo! You have better today. Nice work. I'll see you next week. I appreciate it. Thanks for pushing me. Yes, sir. That's a solid team out there. You guys will have to bring it. locker room. Each guy has been going over and through his own routine to get ready. But once they take the floor, they're one single unit. Welcome. Maybe the best day of the NBA. Thursday night, and we're happy you could be here with us. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Brent Berry. And if you claim to be a basketball purist, and Greg, I know you do, one thing you gotta love watching is great ball movement which is something both of these teams take pride in. It's always fun to watch guys be unselfish with the ball and look to make each other better. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. The guard set is White alongside Levine. MP out there with Williams. And it's Duarte in at the small forward position. Here's White. Pass to MP. And the dunk by MP. Fantastic slam by MP, proving how dangerous he can be inside. Fox kicks to Monk. Back to Fox. And he drops it in from the low post. 
uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. RJ passes to MP. And the dunk by MP. Well, recognizing the size mismatch and then turns it into an easy basket there. They've got to do a better job with defensive help. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Fox passes to Monk. Pass to Sabonis. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Greg, give us one word to describe Damanis Sabonis on the offensive end. Kevin, I, I, I guess I'd say dominant, but that only scratches the surface. The way Sabonis drops dimes, hits shots, and controls the glass, dominant just doesn't even really begin to say enough. I got him, I got him. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. A great sign for MP in his career. The, the ability to convert in traffic. Pass to DeRozan. With the teardrop. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Now in the later stages of his career, Greg, DeMar DeRozan continues to be a master from the mid-range. Kevin, we all know he loves that area of the floor. And what makes him so effective, the footwork. He's so good at backing guys down and creating space to get that jumper off. And Malik Monk is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's MP. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Now their offense is rolling. A perfect start. Four of four so far. Fox kicks to Sabonis. DeRozan surveying the D. Six on the shot clock. MP against Sabonis. And it's Chicago with the rebound. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. Yeah, mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. Impressive to see them on the road just step up and have that kind of offensive performance. Here's MP. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Uh, great to see developing players like MP saving plays like that. That shows some good off-ball awareness. And here's DeRozan. He's coming off a 19-point game against Cleveland. 11 feet away. And he overshot that one, missing. Bulls leading by five. Out to the wing. Outside Williams. Bulls moving the ball around. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Fox. And once again off the mark by Sacramento. So for the Kings, they come in off the loss to Cleveland. Yeah, what, what we saw in that game and what you see around the league is a questionable dependency on the triple. Well, you have to be able to use the three-point line in some way. It's just such a weapon. And in that game, it was just not there for them. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Bulls. So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. And here we go. RJ passes to White. Williams sets a screen for White. Prills the three-pointer. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. And so Fox will bring it up for the King. Nine-point game. Monk outside. Right side, Fox inside. They could use a bucket. And the rejection by MP. 
Pass to Levine. MP against Murray. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Left side, DeRozan. But no one around him. Again, the miss by the Kings. The Bulls leading by nine. It's stolen by Monk. Here's DeRozan. Steps back and drains the jump shot. And if you give him a sliver of daylight, DeMar DeRozan will eat your lunch from the mid-range. Pass to MP. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. MP's got 13. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Hey, Greg, one thing that the Kings have had work for them over the last few seasons is their depth. And have made some shrewd moves to fill out their bench. Got great contributions from their 6 through 10 players. It's been a big part of their recent success. Outside Williams to the middle. MP, good. 15 points in the game. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Outside DeRozan. Shot clock at six. Murray for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And you like Murray as a spot-up shooter. Knows where to park himself and always ready to receive the pass. On the wing, Williams. Pass to MP. And MP throws it down. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, well, he settled for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Now, here's Sabonis, covered by MP. Sabonis gets the bucket. And after missing four straight, he finally gets one to go. And Billy Donovan decides to call timeout. He wants to regroup and go over the strategy. Big group substitution here for Sacramento. Alex Lenz checked in for Sabonis. Lyle comes in for Keegan Murray. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Ellis in for Monk. Chicago also making some changes. Vucevic comes in for Patrick Williams. And it's Lonzo Ball in for Duarte. Here's Fox. It's hauled in by MP. MP's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. White finds Levine. MP throws it down. And what a night to remember for MP. Still so young, this guy could have many nights like this in the future. Now, here's Fox. He's coming off a 22-point game against Cleveland. And he was also a terrific creator in that game as well. His assist totals show you what a fantastic all-around effort it was. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Entering the home stretch of the season, GA, how excited are you for the play-in tournament? Oh, it's a lot of fun, Kevin. You, you can go from a 10th seed to making the playoffs. It makes this part of the year that much more entertaining. I mean, how much promise do you see in MP? This young player has so many physical tools that are already there. Now he just has to keep improving. The King's making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. For Sacramento, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. McDaniel's checked in for Robinson. And he can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. And when you talk to people about the Bulls, GA, Michael Jordan's shadow still looms large over this team and organization. And Kevin, they haven't won a championship before or since he was in Chicago. They've had plenty of good players, Derrick Rose and MVP, Jimmy Butler as well, but the results haven't been there. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. MP in the last game against the Suns was a driven man. He had an impressive number of points and came out of nowhere defensively, blocking shot after shot in an incredible effort. 
and those are big numbers he put up. It's hard to match, but he'll be aiming high again tonight. Back to you guys. David, we appreciate the update. Craig, we'll see if he can keep rolling here tonight. Yeah, and that's the rub. When he's in rhythm, he can carry your team across the line. And you want to see him make sure that the teammates are also involved in what they're doing, especially if he draws that much attention. Fox finds McDaniel. Great open look there. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Outside, White. A three ball. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. MP's got three assists in the game. The Kings trail by 15. Pass to Wiles. 27 seconds left in the first. Over in the corner, McDaniels. Outside, Fox files a screen on ball. Fox, no good. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Levine dishes to MP. Kick out to Levine. He gets it up. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. The Bulls have made two and missed two at the line tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And he knocks down the first one. And he sinks the second. And he nails the third. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll return shortly. If you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback and a comfortable margin for the Bulls here, guys. Well, pounding the boards is one way to gain an advantage. They simply owned the glass in that first. Well, if you get physical out there, you can control the glass, and that helps you to control the pace of the game. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. They've got Dosumu. MP out there with Zach Levine. And it's Vucevic, and it's Ball in at the point. And they double up MP. Back to Levine. The kick out to Ball. Chicago needs to get a shot off. And there's Levine on the assist by MP. MP's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. The wide open look here for DeRozan. No good on the triple. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Pass to Dosunmu. MP inside. He's defended by Herter. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Back to DeRozan. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. And the rejection by MP. To the paint. And he drops in the way up off the glass. MP's got 24. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Lyles with a wide open look. Hits the three-point five. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Down low. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. What heart by MP going through contact there and converting. 
analytics or the eye test? The optics or the numbers in front, Greg? When you're judging the performance of a player, what kind of criteria do you use? Well, an MVP candidate recently said, my eye test tells me this guy's a terrible defender, but the analytics tell me he's a great defender. I I'm confused, and, and I often feel the same way. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Count that one, and it's 29 points for MP. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Ellis with the screen for DeRozan. Pass to Ellis. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Herter with it. Outside DeRozan. Off target from outside. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. And the dunk by MP. Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. Ellis, the pass to DeRozan. Shot to stop the run. Bean with the rebound. You know, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Now Ellis, still scoreless. And here's Herter outside. MP grabs the miss. MP's got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Ball, the pass to MP. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Kick out to Levine. Pass to Duarte. Back to MP. Shoots the three. And it's Levine that time on the assist by MP. MP's got five assists tonight. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the Kings. Victory eluded them last time in Chicago when they faced the Bulls. And it's going to come down to effort tonight. Last time they met each other, they were demolished on the boards. And that rebounding difference led to a sizable loss. Well, let's see if the lesson was learned from that loss. If they come out with the same type of effort, they can expect a similar result here. And they double up MP. Pass to Duarte. Levine wide open. The Bulls keep it alive. And the shot goes in. MP's got 35 in the game. Battling in the paint. MP not letting himself get pushed around. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, the Kings are holding each other accountable. The Aaron Fox says we have to be able to get on, guys. We need to be as consistent as possible. DeMontis Sabonis says we're pushing each other. And if teammates see me and Fox going at each other and speaking up, it's going to make them lock in and fight stronger, too. Kevin? Uh, David Wright, they serve as a great example. Thank you. Sacramento making some changes. Sabonis, he's checked in for Trey Lyles. And it's Malik Monk in for Diallo. Kobe White, he's checked in for the Bulls. Brent Damanis Sabonis is truly a player you can run an offense through. Yeah, he's a guy that you can basically put anywhere on the floor and all of a sudden good things are going to happen, whether he's playing out of the post and dealing with double teams or he's at the top of the key, able to read the defense using his vision and his ability as a big to drive the basketball. Damanis is one of the better playmaking fives that we have in the NBA. Sabonis' is screen on white. Ellis kicks to DeRozan. Shoots from 12. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. Left side, Levine. There's the three. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. MP's got his sixth assist on the night. Monk, the pass to DeRozan. Herter setting the pick for DeRozan. Over MP. He 
clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. DeRozan's got five points now in the quarter. MP right side. The kick out to Williams. Here's MP. And the dunk by MP. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. DeRozan passes to Monk. Now Sabonis. And they force the shot clock violation. Great deed. We get a break in the action, so let's take a look at the West and how the teams are stacking up. Take a look at the Kings. Advantage in one series. Well, right now for the Kings, this hasn't been the breakout season that many were predicting, but they're still very much in the hunt for a high postseason seed, and that will keep them focused here during the season's final stages. Well, the goal is very defined. They have to have a strong finish to the season and make sure they get home court advantage for at least the first few rounds of the playoffs. Williams passes Dwight to the inside. MP kicks to Williams. His three-pointer is off the mark. Sacramento's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Here's Murray. Good defense by MP. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time they're not backing off. And the dunk by MP. I love the aggressiveness. He's been on fire the entire first half and continues to strike while the iron's hot. A minute 50 left in the first half. Monk outside. Murray outside. Over Williams. Sacramento again missing. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Out to White. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Torte shot good. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. And it's Fox with the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Sabonis feeling it out a bit. And Fox has it in the corner. Pocket six. It's in and hoping this is the start of a new trend. Two for eight now from the field. Becoming more confident and a little bit more poised in terms of how he scores is De'Aaron Fox. Kick out to Levine. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Three points. MP's got assist number eight here in this one already. Monk outside. Ellis outside for three. Murray. Rebound by the Bulls. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Duarte. It's stolen by Monk. Here's Ellis. Finished off the break. Ellis has got his first two points of the night. Now, over the last few seasons, Monk has shown tremendous growth as a passer. MP inside. Sabonis is there. Good on the bucket. 41 points for MP. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Here's Fox, and the Kings check on two more. And you can tell the defender not anticipating the step back. He was headed in the opposite direction. MP has been leading the charge for the Chicago Bulls. He provided some serious rim protection in that quarter. Good luck getting a shot over this guy. We come back right after this. And as we welcome you to halftime, no other way to say it, an abysmal start for the Sacramento Kings. 
Well, the energy they're putting out is not going toward their defense. Problem is their offense can't keep up with those guys. So the D has to pick up the slack or this thing is over. Man, you know they're getting an earful right down in that locker room. We'll see who's listening. Let's go now to our NBA power rankings and see how that last leg of the season is shaking out. Hmm, shaking a leg, <laughs> whatever. And taking a look at Sacramento, not a lot of games left. They're definitely a playoff team. Question, can they contend for a title? Well, I mean, I suppose that's why they play the games. Certainly they have an opportunity to make some noise. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. The post pair for him will be Murray and Sabonis. Monk on the wing. He's paired with DeRozan. And it's Fox in at the point guard. That's the group for Mike Brown as we get going here in the second half. Up top, DeRozan. Up and in on the layup. DeRozan's got 13 points tormenting his way through. DeRozan showing what he's made of. Pass to Duarte. Wide a screen on DeRozan. MP, good. MP's got 45 points. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Here's DeRozan. There's another block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Excellent play. Just adding fuel to the fire and really trying to put this one out of reach. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. Monk kicks to Fox. Five on the clock. There's the triple. And it's MP with the rebound. The Bulls have gone three of three from the field since halftime. Barjay passes to MP. Outside, White puts up a three. Rebound by the Kings. Yeah, just the first miss of the half there. They have to be happy three of four to start it off. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Monk outside. The wide open look here for Fox. Sinks the three pointer. He's got nine. Well, Fox trying to work on that outside jump shot, become more consistent. Nice bucket there. You know, Brent, Deer and Fox. I mean, how do you cover them? Well, Kevin, the first thing I do is ask for help. I keep my, my other defenders aware that I'm not going to slow this guy down at any point. So try to get him to his offhand, which is his right hand. And then make sure that he's taking more shots and not being in transition because that's where De'Aaron Fox is at his best. Sacramento's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Outside DeRozan. And they double up DeRozan, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the foul goes against Chicago. And DeRozan has mastered the art of the pump fake. He's been doing it for years, and people still buy it. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, the most important event of the NBA calendar might be in June. And it's not the finals, but rather for so many teams, Brent, the NBA draft. Well, Kevin, it's a chance for you to set the table for your franchise. What do you want to have for next year? What do you want to have five years from now? And so all the work that goes in, the scouting, the intel work, to build up a team where you are making the steps and taking strides to become a championship caliber team, that stuff starts at the NBA draft. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Pass to Duarte. 
Good ball movement here by the Bulls. White with it. MV finds Levine. Good, and it's MV picking up the assist. MP's got his ninth assist in the game now. Fox with it. Nine points in the game so far. Monk outside. Pass to Sabonis. Over MP. Sabonis' shot is off. Bean passes to Williams. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's DeRozan. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. And here's Levine who brings it up for the Bulls. MP left side. And yep, another basket that gives him 51. Making it look easy. Sacramento's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Outside DeRozan. Pass to Sabonis. Six to shoot. Over MP. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. For Chicago, they've gone 9 of 10 on their attempts in the third quarter. That is 90% from the field. What a roll they're on. The kick out to Williams. Hands it from downtown. Williams has got his third basket of the night right there. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. There's a bonus, and out of bounds as Chicago gains possession. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for Sacramento. On Saturday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Milwaukee Bucks. Then on Monday, they'll go up against Chris Dapps, Porzingis, and the Boston Celtics. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. Miles checked in for Keegan Murray. No one covering Ball's got six. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Outside DeRozan. <laughs> to stop the drought again with the block. And swatting shots away with ferocity. And GA, he is not messing around in this one. MP using those young sticks to get ahead of everybody for the score. Sacramento's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. DeRozan for three. It's all in by the Bulls. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. And MP throws it down. Nice job clearing some space out under the boards and setting himself up there for the putback. And not just any old putback, Clark, but a big, big foul. Sabonis kicks to Fox. That falls. Nice feed that time from Sabonis. And 11 points for De'Aaron Fox. Fox has great skill in creating for himself, so finding a worthwhile shot out there. And the dunk by MP. And they've hardly needed anyone else today to get out to this lead. I mean, he's provided almost all of their offense. Miles, no good. Not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. De'Aaron Fox stays in attack mode. He says people don't want to guard somebody that's going to attack them on every possession. You can't get that break. You can't take any plays off. And with his speed, Kevin, that is a lot to deal with. A ton, David, to deal with. No question. DA, thanks. MP passes to Dosunu. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two On the wing, Dosumu. 
and they wasted no time getting those three points back. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Outside, Sabonis. Outside, Fox. Down to five on the shot clock. And he can't bank that one in. Chicago's gone four or six from three-point land since the start of the second half. Monk outside. Pass to Wiles. It's stolen by Vucevic. Here's MP. Chicago again turning it over. And here we can check out the story for DeMar DeRozan. And guys, I think the best way to measure his performance these last 10 games is his effective field goal percentage, which has improved a sign that his game is in much better shape than it was not too long ago. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Lenz checked in for Sabonis. Kevin Herter comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Ellison for Malik Monk. Pass to Wiles. Here's the three. Vucevic with the rebound. And you have to like how they're moving the ball right now. Snappy passes to ready shooters. It's basketball 101. But boy, is it working. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Excellent D there from Ball. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. MP finds Ball. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. MP passes to Craig. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside, Ball. A three off the mark. And there it is for him. MP. MP's got 59 points. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. And he's easily been their best rebounder tonight. Well, he's been everywhere, and collecting those rebounds, that ends any kind of offensive possession and gets them started. And so it's Chicago with a huge lead at the break. Safe to say there's no catching them today. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Right back after this break. Let's take a listen to a recent huddle from Coach Billy Donovan. Keep guarding now. We're doing a much better job defensively. We've eliminated second shots, which is great, okay? Keep that going. Playing solid defense, taking care of the backboard. High priorities for Coach Billy Donovan. And I think the communication has been terrific here. I mean, the guys came prepared to do whatever it takes tonight, and Coach is making some really good adjustments. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. MP out there with Torrey Cray. Then it's Dosumu, then it's Ball, and it's Vucevic in at the center position. Such a big part of what he does for this team, just work and work on the boards, generate second chance opportunities, and hopefully convert. Outside DeRozan. Looking to end his cold spell and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And the league clearly focused on making regular season games matter. Right? You think uh, more steps are coming? Well, let's give the league credit because they've left no stone unturned. The play in, the in season tournament, the 65 games rule, all implemented with that in mind. MP against DeRozan. The tray, Dosunmu shots good. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. DeRozan passes to Lyles. Over in the corner, Ellis. Out to DeRozan for the three. Ball with the rebound. Well, he wanted to return the favor there for that last three, but it just wasn't in the cards. Launches it, and again, it's the Bulls from deep. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Sacramento's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Ellis. Now Diallo, back to Ellis. 
DeRozan with it. Takes a three. Craps in the tray. DeRozan's got 20. He's trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. Craig passes to Dosunu. Here's MP, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Textbook bounce pass there, perfectly timed. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Sacramento. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long, and also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. It'd be interesting to go back through this film in particular and see if there was an emphasis to get that ball down low, get it in the paint tonight. They've done that. It's paid off. That doesn't go either for DeRozan. Well, Chicago has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Here's MP. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Third personal foul. A trend in the NBA and one Brent that I like, new downtown arenas. Uh, they seem to be everywhere. Well, Kevin, it's because you, you love to eat so much and the restaurants are nearby, so walking distance helps. But yeah, it, it invigorates uh, the city. You have people clamoring to get to the arena, to get out of the offices early, and it really brings the community together. So you love to see that kind of energy and buzz around any NBA stadium. Well, Monk dangerous from downtown. He gets him up with some volume. Dosunmu, the pass to MP. Rebound by the Kings. Right there, the defender clearly trying to inhibit a fast break. I think that's a transition take foul. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Kings have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Here's Monk. Pass to Wiles. Back to Monk. The fader. It's good. Monk's got six here in this quarter. Always looking to score. Monk stays in that attacking mindset at all times. Dosunmu, the pass to MP. Vucevic gets double team. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. They are just killing him on the interior. And Vucevic, no good on that one. We've seen the NBA feature several overseas games, Greg, the last couple years. Always growing the sport, aren't they? And I know the fans love it. It's nothing quite like seeing an NBA game in person and expanding that opportunity, always a plus. Monk's shot's good. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Here's Ball. Ball, the bounce pass. MP with it, now guarded by Monk. Here's MP. Good, he hits again. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. And here's Herter. On the wing, Monk. Another three for Sacramento. A guy with complete faith in those mechanics. Monk downs the catch and shoot. The Bulls have gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Vucevic the pass to MP. And now Ellis running the floor all by himself. Pass to DeRozan. Fires the three. It's hauled in by MP. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still letting them rip. Craig passes the ball. Six feet out. Good, that's another bucket. And that's 70. He's unbelievable. Keeping his balance despite the physical defense there. MP so calm, cool, and collected. Monk left side. Miles sets a screen for Herder. Four on the shot clock. The Kings need to get off a shot here. The Rosen's shot is off.
And wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Got a piece of it. Now, here's Ball. He's looking for MP and finds him. Pass to Craig. And too much time in the lane, they get called for the three-second violation. GA, what effect do you think the rule to limit flopping has had since it was put into place in the NBA? Well, I do think we're seeing less theatrics. And there were fines before, but a flop now might impact the game itself. So I'd say it's been a bit of a deterrent. Sabonis, so he's checked in for Sacramento. De'Aaron Fox comes in for Kevin Herter. The 15-footer. Here's Sabonis. The shot's good. Sabonis has a great nose to rebound the ball, and then he just sent it back in. To the middle. Here's MP. Another bucket. Wow. What a game. That's 72 points. He's been simply, Greg, sensational throughout this one. Outside to Rosen. Misses the three. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Pass to Monk from the arc. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got three assists now in this one. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Here's Buzelis. And they double up MP. Makes it off the glass. Now DeRozan. Every team eventually goes through a coaching change, Brenton. How jarring is that when it happens, uh, for instance, in midseason? Well, Kevin, it can be pulls in another board. Boy, this guy plays hard, acting like every board is his. Would you believe he's tied the team record for most rebounds in a game? I mean, this is unbelievable. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Grabs the rebound again. Another board, and he set the franchise record for rebounds in a game. What an absolute vacuum he's been tonight. He's inhaled any and every miss off the glass. Great performance to write his name in the team record books. And MP has been an absolute monster on the glass, and fans of this team will be talking about this game for a long time. Left side, Fox. That one's on target from the wing. Fox pretty good. When he decides to use his speed, he's going to get the defense on their heels. MP finds Dosumu. Here's Buzelis. MP inside. DeRozan defending. MP. And the layup's good off the glass. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Chicago. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. Well, in a dominant year where we've watched this team battle night in and night out all season long, this will bring their win total to an impressive 69. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for MP. Not sure what else the coaching staff could ask for. He contributed in every facet of the game tonight, racking up a triple-double. Terry against DeRozan. Just five to shoot. Outside, Fox. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Smooth sailing for Chicago. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Smith, the pass to Carter. MP inside. Murray on him, and he comes up with the deuce. But the truth is, they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. 
Sabonis sets the pick for DeRozan. Again, the miss by the Kings. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Great win tonight, MP. The champ is here! This is a bad man! He's scared!